Shalom, shalom, shalom. And greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, there is a lot to talk about in regards to how do we expand our spiritual thought? How do we grow in the things of the Lord? Uh, especially now that we found out they tell so many lies, right? And it's important that we grow in the things of the Spirit because things are changing rather rapidly all around us. All around us. And I mean, for the past four months, the Holy Spirit has just been downloading all kind of drop. All kind of drop. And not only that, your brother K has been going through all kinds of attacks. All kinds of attacks. But hallelujah, you know what I'm saying? We're not worried about those things, man. We are not worried about those things. Why should we be worried about those things, right? We are told to Think of those things above. I mean, I'm trying to get back, you know, to the Father. I don't know about anybody else, you know what I mean? I want to be with the Messiah. I don't like the way y'all do things down here. I hate the way you set up the jobs and all of that. You, you set up education in such of a wicked, esoteric way that when one feels that he achieves, he feels like he achieved something in all honesty and actuality, looking at the way the world is going and with that type of knowledge, you have achieved nothing but to break up and tear up. But um, I'm going to calm that down. Um, October is approaching rather rapidly. Uh, so I'm just going to say this, and I don't want to say too much. We know the eclipse that's coming. The eclipse that's coming is called the Ring of Fire. It's called the Ring of Fire. Again, the eclipse that is coming. Look it up. It's called the Ring of Fire. What expression do you get when you think about a ring? And most certainly... What expression do you get when you add fire around that ring? It's almost like you can't run from that battle. You gotta face it. And these are the things that we see and that I was uh, saying and the spirit was speaking through the uh, 12 apostles by Reverend, I think it's uh, J.T. Owsley, you know, where that we really have to have faith. And not only that, but we're in this contest. And again, the race is not to the swift, nor is the battle to the strong. I mean, I rather like looking at myself weak because when I'm placed in situations that I know God is going to show up because I'm just weak. You know? And I'm just saying these things because speaking of that eclipse what that is telling me and should be telling you as well I mean if you can be honest with yourself and said uh, you watched enough TV and read enough books and saw enough of everything um, from that aspect to know what expression do you get with the ring of fire it almost sounds like a death match, if you ask me. But again, um, it's raining real hard out here, hallelujah. <laughs> but hey, I got to get this word out, man. I'm for real. I mean, I'm just saying, I have to get this word out because I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I don't know about anybody else, but I can be honest, man. God gave me a task, and if I don't do it, there's only one way for me. There's two ways for a man, it's life and death. But if I'm disobedient and I don't do what's right, it's nothing but death for me. And I can be honest to say that because it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the very interesting thing that I find very interesting is how, how dare one try to wrap their mind around the figure and power of my father. How dare you? 
You can't even hardly get yourself straight, but you want to go on TikTok, go on YouTube, and argue about the Trinity. Which, again, there are some things in the text that I've seen you all have not even articulated, and everybody clearly seen the error within that text. But you're trying to wrap your mind around the power of deity. So, I mean, I'm just going to throw some things out there because a lot of things that I've read, um, and a lot of those apocalypse that a uh, few people were saying, hey, man, we don't want to hear the apocalypse, man. You know, bro, we can't, man, we tired of hearing the apocalypse, man. We don't want to hear the apocalypse, man. Hey, man, look, man, I love y'all, man. But I got to do what God tells me to do, man. I can care less. I can care less what your flesh want to hear. You know what I'm saying? And, I, I, and, I, and I'm serious. I'm serious about that. I'm, I, I am so serious about that because God is serious, right, folks? I mean, let's really think about this. I mean, are you on the side where you have been working hard, doing double extra time? You done tied up the boots, the, 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 the tied up your boots 10 and 20 and 50 and 60 times, and you sure enough don't work harder. Like grandma said, you were gonna work 10 times harder, you don't work 20 times harder, and you still don't have what the Western culture has promised you based upon their education. You ought to be tired. I mean, Apostle Peter would tell Clement, contemplate these things let time give way and room give way for the father to come and speak to you if one is always speaking up up here man you should be asking yourself well when do they actually really have the time to hear the father if they're always before my face it says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty so what I'm giving you, this is what I received in the secret place under the shadow of the Almighty. So I'm just going to leave this and uh, yeah, I got another video I'm going to bring out as well. That's, um, yeah, let's just put it that way. I'm going to bring that video as well because it's urgent. It's so urgent. Uh, the writing is on the wall. I believe the place of land and lands, the X has marked its spot. And the ring of fire is on its way. Are you fit and prepared for the contest? And if you haven't thought about, well, what contest is this? And maybe you need to contemplate your life. Where do you fit in this game or in this world called life? Blessing and peace, beloveds. Have a blessed morning. Um, yeah. Next video is going to be fire. Please watch it for your sake. Hallelujah. Shalom. And blessings and peace, there is more.